What's up, everybody? Just got back from another awesome trip uh, out to CQ and doing the halibut opener at Port Angeles and another great haul of white meat uh, back from our trip. And uh, this time I had an opportunity to get some underwater footage of some of the things that were going on uh, beneath the surface that I found really helpful and instructive in uh, learning how to be better at, at bottom fish and, and jigging up lingcod and rockfish. And, and I want to share that with you in this uh, short, hopefully very helpful video. Let's get right to it. The first thing I want to talk about is just from a technique standpoint, uh, when you're jigging, uh, I, I think uh, the default is what I see a lot of people doing and myself do, is just, just jig a little too fast, um, giving it more action than we need. Oh man, we those fish down there. Oh, we went for it, right there. And watch, as I'm jigging it and pulling it up, I'm actually pulling it away from the fish and they don't get a chance to bite it again. Look what's going on, look at that. Look at that. Oh, he went for it, but I'm moving it too fast. You know, um, I think after watching this video, first of all, look at this, when it's dead drifting, how much action it has, the tail is just moving on that grub. Oh, right there, he went for it. Oh man, that is so cool to see. But I think it had, they, these grubs, man, they got, they got a scent trail, they got a lot of action just being dead drifted. You know, uh, these fish aren't gonna, these, these rockfish and lingcod, they're not gonna move super fast like a salmon to go chase something down. You're not trying to like, look, look at that, look at the action on that. Look at that tail, I mean, that's a dead drift. Now it's being jigged, right? Um, but these fish are trying to conserve energy. They're eating all the time whenever there's an opportune meal. And when they decide they want it, they come and they'll hit it like a freight train, especially those lings, man, they hit so hard. But um, uh, just watch this video, watching the fish about to strike and then all of a sudden I pull the jig up because I'm jigging, I'm jigging, you know, too too fast jigging action. Uh, and and I'm, not getting, I'm not getting the hookups I should be getting if I, if I was dead drifting it. Oh, here comes the, look at that lane come in right there. Oh man, oh, he just, he's going down for it. Look, he, he, he would probably take it right there, but I pull, I pull it up. I pull it away from him. Here we go, it's going back down though. I think he's gonna get a second shot right here. Look at this. Here we go, come on. He's right by it. Oh yeah, he took oh did he take it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's on. He's on. That's so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> um man, so many times you know the fish they, they hit it when it's just kind of still down there on the bottom or just being dead drifted. Um and uh, you know don't don't move it too fast. The, the, the other thing I noticed just um from a lesson learned standpoint is, you know, when you're when you're going through the fish uh, and, and, and you're drifting right, um, they're gonna go for it. Like there's never a time where I'm just like drifting over fish that aren't trying to attack my offering. So I gotta keep it in the strike zone a little bit longer. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and as a as, from a boat control standpoint, you gotta stay on the fish. Um, when you're when you're going over fish, you're gonna get bites. When you're not getting bit, it might be time to move. Um, Cause these these fish are so uh, hungry and aggressive in uh, going after your offering. Here we go. Another one. On. Pretty cool to see uh, the view from underwater. What uh, what they're doing. Well, hopefully uh, this view from looking at things. Um, under the surface gives you maybe a better idea when you're jigging and maybe just go up and down uh, about six inches and maybe maybe dead drift it uh, after you kind of come up a crank or two or you're just above the bottom um, and, and see if that doesn't increase your results. I know I'm gonna try a few things next time. We, we still did really well, but I think we could have done uh, even better limiting out faster with, um, with more of that technique, so. Lots of opportunities still out there. 